The city does not have body camera footage from the arrest of the world's number one golfer, Scotty Scheffler, by Louisville Metro Police Detective Brian Gillis. Mayor Craig Greenberg confirmed Saturday morning. The officer did not have body cam footage turned on during the incident, Greenberg said. We will release footage that we have, to my knowledge. We have not yet discovered any video of the initial contact between Officer Gillis and Mr. Scheffler. Scheffler was arrested and booked into Metro Corrections on Friday morning on charges of second-degree assault, third-degree criminal mischief, reckless driving, and disregarding signals from an officer directing traffic, according to his arrest citation and jail records. He's since called the incident a big misunderstanding and returned to the tournament later that day. Greenberg said he didn't have certainty on whether Gillis was wearing a body cam at the time of the incident, but added that there was a fixed camera across the street during the arrest and footage will be released in the coming days. The mayor declined to comment further on the case, including on whether there have been discussions about dismissing or reducing charges against Scheffler. Right now, the case is in the hands of our county attorney, and I will let the legal process play out," he said. ESPN reporter Jeff Darlington may have the only footage of Scotty Scheffler's arrest at the PGA Championship as Louisville, Kentucky. Mayor Craig Greenberg said there was no police body cam footage of it. Scheffler was booked into the Louisville Department of Corrections and was charged with second-degree assault of a police officer, a felony, criminal mischief, reckless driving, and disregarding signals from an officer directing traffic. He allegedly drove past a police officer who was directing traffic and failed to stop when directed. Darlington was in the vicinity of the incident and captured Louisville police, placing Scheffler in the back of a police car. Scheffler called the incident a big misunderstanding. This morning, I was proceeding as directed by police officers. It was a very chaotic situation, understandably so considering the tragic accident that had occurred earlier and there was a big misunderstanding of what I thought I was being asked to do," he said. I never intended to disregard any of the instructions. I'm hopeful to put this to the side and focus on golf today. Of course, all of us involved in the tournament express our deepest sympathies to the family of the man who passed away in the earlier accident this morning. It truly puts everything in perspective, 